Hey guys, so I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about CERs a little bit. I know this process is still a little bit new to us and we're still trying to figure out how all of this works and how to craft these statements and how to provide our evidence and all that. So I want to take a question that we've looked at already a few times and actually done a CER assignment um, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. So if you ever need a reference on, hey, I'm not really sure how to write these CERs, this would be a good video just to kind of have around as a refresher. All right, so pretty familiar content. Uh, we're talking about the boiling point of water here, so let's just read it and get rolling. During an investigation, students needed to boil water. All they had was ice water in a beaker. How many more degrees does the water need to increase to be at the boiling point? All right, so I've got my pretty picture in my beaker on my hot plate, and then I've got this thermometer that gives me the starting temperature. So I've got to know a couple of things. One, I've got to know what's the boiling point of water. Well, hopefully you remember the boiling point of water is... That's right, 100 degrees Celsius. You're so smart. Then I've got to know how to read this particular thermometer. Now, this thermometer can be a little tricky because this is not going up by 10s. It's actually going up by 20s. So each of these little hash marks in between actually represents 4 degrees, not 2. So my starting temperature here is 24 degrees. So a little tricky on this question, all right? But I've got my starting temperature of 24 degrees. I know I've got to get it up to 100 degrees to boil. So first thing we need to do is figure out the answer to the question. So my starting temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. And I know I've got to get to 100 degrees Celsius. If I want to find the difference between two numbers, I need to subtract. And that's going to give me an answer of 76 degrees Celsius. All right, so now I've got my answer to the question. I need to increase it by 76 degrees Celsius. Now comes all this fun stuff, all right? Our claim is actually the easiest part because all the claim is is your answer. Your claim is just... What am I saying is going to happen? Or what am I saying I think the answer is? What is my claim? All right, well, my claim is that the students need to increase the temperature by 76 degrees Celsius. So that's what I'm going to write. The students need to increase the temperature by 76 degrees Celsius. That's it. That's my claim. All right. Now I've got to provide some evidence. Now my evidence is that information that I used to get my answer. All right. So let's think back all of 30 seconds ago. What information did I use? Well, the first thing I did was I had to have my starting temperature, right? So my starting temperature was 24 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to write that down. The starting temperature. was 24 degrees Celsius, okay? I also had to know what the boiling point of water was, which is 100 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to write that down as well. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, all right? That's really the only two pieces of information that I used to get my answer, all right? Now comes the hardest part, and that's the reasoning statement. Now, the reasoning is really just you explaining your thought process from start to finish on how you got to your claim. All right? So, why not start there? So let's rewrite our claim statement. That's going to be the first part of our reasoning. So I'm just going to give the answer. The students need to increase the temperature by 76 degrees Celsius. Okay? Now I'm going to put a period there because I don't want this huge, ginormous, long run on sentence. My reasoning could be two to three or even four sentences depending on how complex the question is. All right? Now I need to talk about how I got there. Well, I got there because of my evidence, right? Because of the information that I used to solve this problem. So that's what I'm going to talk about next. I know this because, and that's a very important word when we're writing our reasoning statement, because. You're talking about why you're thinking what you're thinking. I know this because the starting temperature was 24 degrees Celsius. 
and the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Now that should sound pretty familiar because that's exactly what we wrote up here in our evidence. So, so far I haven't really done anything that I didn't do in these first two parts. Okay, so we should be pretty good so far. Now the last thing I want to do is I want to talk about the math. All right, that's what I want to do in this last part of my reasoning statement. Because it's great that I know the starting temperature was 24. It's great that I know the boiling point is 100. But that doesn't quite get me to this answer of 76 degrees Celsius. Remember, I'm explaining in detail how I got my answer. Well, that was pretty much how I got my answer. So I need to talk about the math. So the last thing I'm going to put is, so I subtracted 24 degrees Celsius, the starting temperature, from 100 degrees Celsius, the boiling point of water to get 76 degrees Celsius. Now, that looks like a lot. It's because it is. Most of the time, remember, I'm only going to give you one or two CER type questions. And remember, the whole point is I want you to be able to explain to me how you got the answer that you got. All right, so remember, claim is just your answer. Evidence is the information you use to get your answer. And then your reasoning is your thought process on what you did to get your answer. Okay? I hope this was helpful, guys. Um, there are more videos to come. Thanks for watching.